have a new cannon shooter in my family. My sister. Well, not a new cannon shooter. Do she I upgraded from a T1I to a Canon R. Do I have to turn this around to see my photo? Oh boy. So I'm gonna teach her how to use it and it's gonna be really fun because the sky right now looks like a Renaissance painting. I can't see my photo that I just took. You have to hit the play button. I did. Did you? Is it on or is it off? Yeah, I just took a photo. Well, you just took a photo of garbage. Nice. Like literally, literally But look, it doesn't garbage. pop up. It doesn't pop up. Anthony, you have to help me. You can't record my struggle. Okay, so 30 seconds in and we're already having a problem. Her screen for some reason is really dim. So I'll just have to see my photos later. Yeah, she's just gonna have to review them later and use the viewfinder. Fine, I'm just using automatic. It's probably my fault. I'm no, you're manual. shooting in AV, which is aperture. Video. Aperture priority, not automatic. Automatic video. Aperture priority A for aperture. All these weeds those smells are, those like aren't weeds. weeds. Those are plants. These are. This is overgrowth. They need to trim it. Looks messy. All this wildflowers. Tree or bush? You have to answer one. Bush. Oh, it didn't even Bush. Tree. Bush. Dang it. Yeah, we had no life. Oh, this was our life. If we saw a bear. I would actually have to give up because I'm so full from pizza, I couldn't run. <laughs> I couldn't outrun. I'm What's like, that sound? I'm, you hear that? I'm, is it raining? I don't know. It sounds like it's either raining or... Oh? Oh, yeah, it is. What? The freaking gypsy... Mo oh, my gosh. Crime scene. Oh, they're everywhere. You know what that sound is? It's the sound of the gypsy moths eating all the trees. I'm gonna throw up. That oh is so Oh my gosh. Nasty. Okay, I'm so glad we're not going in the forest because I'm getting shivers. They're crawling. Oh. They're crawling. It sounds like it's raining. Yeah, and they're eating. And look, they're like dead hanging on the bushes. Hey, oh my gosh. You're not even talking about all the ones you probably just stepped on. We've just, oh my, go oh, they're everywhere. They literally video? weren't lying on the news when they said they were everywhere in Toronto. What's video mode? Because I can hear them. In what's, the trees. I have to sing, uh, what's the song that everyone's singing on TikTok to make them dance? It's <laughs> fake, they don't do You that. have to sing Bon Jovi. People have just been stepping on them. But I heard that sound and I was like, it rained today. Give me a second, let me see if I can actually record the sound of them. The sound is Give me so a second here. You can see the leaves just have like little holes in them everywhere. I get scared because normally I would be in there going hiking or doing something and I can hear people in there and just knowing that the moths and the little caterpillars are all up in the trees just eating everything. There's one being midair. Where, really? Right there. Oh, there's two. <gasps> just the sound of them is grossing me out completely. Does anyone actually know do you know if gypsy moths are an invasive species? I don't even know where they came from, so I'm not the person to ask. I'm assuming that they hibernate and then when it's their time of year, they just multiply, but where they I don't- Where hibernate? In the ground? Yeah, like on the ground or in cocoons or wherever. Look, there's a little baby one. But I don't know if they're an invasive species or if they're just native to the area because I've honestly never seen them here before. I've seen them like in other parts of Ontario, but maybe they're just migrating. I don't know. I have no idea. I think we're out of the gypsy moth zone because I don't hear them anymore. Because think of how little it would sound to hear one of them munching. So that sound was so loud, there was hundreds of thousands in there. Yeah, there's like millions at this point. Okay, change of plans. We're not gonna walk to the top of the hill because we've only got about half an hour before the sun sets. There's actually a really nice pond up here. Show them how gray the sky is. Yeah, the sky is looking pretty gray right about now. If the sun was still nice, like look, it's all gray. I got that one nice photo at the parking lot and that was it. <laughs> yeah, we'll take some nice photos in the pond area because I know there's some turtles and frogs. Okay, turtles are okay, but frogs are, frogs are gross. What's wrong with frogs? They have warts. I'm sorry, I would rather touch a frog any day over gypsy moths. Don't, frogs give you warts and they're all bubbly and- Is that true? Oh, they give me the creeps. Anything with scales and like slimy hands. I think that's Salamanders. A I don't, I don't Lizards. I, I wouldn't believe anything she says. All those scaly things are so gross. Scales and little webbed hands. I don't know. Reptiles don't freak me out as much as caterpillars. Reptile. Wildlife. Wildlife. Great. 
great. Great for us. Yeah, the pond bird. Bird. is completely gone. Well, not completely gone. Yeah, I'm not even gonna take a photo. It looks Even depressed. that bird is sad. Oh. It's looking for Franklin. No, he's just like singing an emo song in his head. All right, let's go to the other side. It's a bunny. Oh, I just crushed a snail. This is not going well. This doesn't even look nice. Oh. Look at those people. They're checking out. They're checking out the lake. You oh, see him. I see him. Don't step on him. I won't. Oh. I'm trying, there's literally like a hundred. No, like okay. everywhere. They're just nestled. So oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. I was really trying to get a nice photo of one. I got a photo of a baby one. Photo of them and steps on them. At least I avoided them. I didn't step on any of the ones I photographed, I swear. I, I tried to get a photo of one that was bigger, but as soon as you pick them up, they like they shrink into their little balls and they don't want to be picked up anymore. As they should. Okay, that was a fighting setup. <laughs> that was an exciting adventure. Don't show me. Don't show you? Are you frizzy now? Yeah, my it's what happens oh gosh. when you have curly, naturally curly hair and you go out with it straight and when it's humidity. I'm All right, so to summarize our first adventure with Rhea's camera didn't go as planned, but it's fine. I'd say the moths probably threw us off, and then all the snails, and then the lack of the pond. It's so the fact that we're basically walking through a sludge because it's so muggy it's, and so humid. Because it rained today, that's why. And then the hill, we just didn't want to climb it because it's too muggy out. And the pond, which was basically gone, they drained it. Uh, one guy said he thinks it was because they're trying to get the turtles out, and I did see the zoo conservation people here, so... Maybe that's true, maybe who knows. And then unfortunately I stepped on probably a dozen snails trying to get a picture of one because there was literally just so many on the path that you couldn't avoid it. All right, so now we gotta go home and figure out why her screen's not turning on. I suspect it's because the battery's low or you hit a setting. I didn't touch anything. I think it's because you hit a setting that I didn't know about. You're but about to walk through water. Yeah, it's okay, I have boots on. You should probably pay attention. You're gonna go through all the moths again. Oh shoot, yeah, we're going back through the moths. All right. It smells really interesting in this area. Freshly cut grass. The moths have eaten all the leaves. Look at this one. It's like gross. 